The Nizam of Hyderabad Nizam -ul -Mulk, also known as Asaf Jah was a monarch of the Hyderabad state, now divided into Telangana state, Hyderabad Karnataka region of Karnataka and Marathwada region of Maharashtra. Nizam, shortened from Nizam ul Mulk, meaning administrator of the realm, the title of the sovereigns of Hyderabad state, was the premier prince of India, since 1724, belonging to the Asaf Jah dynasty. The Asaf Jah dynasty was founded by Mir Kamar Ud Din Siddiqui, a viceroy of the Deccan under the Mughal Empire from 1713 to 1721. He intermittently governed the region after Aurangzeb's death in 1707. In 1724, Mughal control weakened, and Asaf Jah became virtually independent of them. Hyderabad would then become a tributary of the Maratha Empire, losing a series of battles for independence through the 18th century. When the British achieved paramountcy over India, the Nizams were allowed to continue to rule their princely states as client kings. The Nizams retained internal power over Hyderabad state until 17 September 1948 when Hyderabad was integrated into the new Indian Union. The Asaf Jah dynasty had only seven rulers, however there was a period of 13 years after the rule of the first Nizam when three of his sons Nasir Young, Muzaffar Young and Salabath Young ruled. They were not officially recognized as the rulers. Seven Nizams ruled Hyderabad for two centuries until 1947. The Asaf Jahi rulers were great patrons of literature, art, architecture, and culture, and rich food. The Nizams patronized aspects of a Persianate society, copied from their Turco-Mongol Mughal overlords, and which became central to the Hyderabadi Muslims' identity. Hyderabad By the time of its annexation by India, Hyderabad was the largest and most prosperous state of all the princely states. It covered 82,698 square miles square kilometers of fairly homogeneous territory and had a population of roughly 16.34 million people as per the 1941 census, of which a majority was Hindu. Hyderabad state had its own army, airline, telecommunication system, railway network, postal system, currency and radio broadcasting service. In spite of the overwhelming Hindu majority, Hindus were severely underrepresented in government, police and the military. Of 1765 officers in the state army, 1268 were Muslims, 421 were Hindus, and 121 others were Christians, Parsis and Sikhs. Of the officials drawing a salary between 600 rupees minus 1,200 per month, 59 were Muslims, 5 were Hindus and 38 were of other religions. The Nizam and his nobles, who were mostly Muslims, owned 40% of the total land in the state. History Etymology The name Nizam also spelled as Nezam, comes from Urdu, Enzim Nzm, which itself is derived from the ancient Arabic language Nizam which means, order, or, arrangement. Nizam ul Mulk was a title first used in Urdu around 1600 to mean governor of the realm or deputy for the whole empire. The word is derived from the Arabic language, as in Abu Ali Hassan ibn Ali Tusi, the 11th of April 1018 to the 14th of October 1092, better known by his honorific title of Nizam al-Mulk (Arabic: Enzim al Order of the Realm). Topic: <laughs> Descent. According to Sir Roper Lethbridge in the Golden Book of India. 1893, the Nizams are lineally descended from the first Caliph Abu Bakr, the successor of the Prophet Muhammad. The family of Nizams in India is descended from Abid Khan, a Turkoman from Samarkand, whose lineage is traced to Sufi Shihab Ud Din Surawardi of Central Asia. In early 1650s, on his way to Hajj, Abid Khan stopped in Deccan, where the young Prince Aurangzeb, then governor of Deccan, cultivated him. Abid Khan returned to the service of Aurangzeb to fight in the succession wars of 1657-58. After Aurangzeb's enthronement, Abid Khan was richly rewarded and became Aurangzeb's favorite nobleman. 
His son Ghazi Adin Khan received in marriage, Sophia Khanum, the daughter of the former imperial prime minister Sadullah Khan. Mir Kamaruddin Khan, the founder of the line of Nizams, was born of the couple, thus descending from two prominent families of the Mughal court. Ghazi Adin Khan rose to become a general of the Emperor Aurangzeb and played a vital role in conquering Bijapur and Golconda Sultanates of southern India in 1686. He also played a key role in thwarting the rebellion by Prince Akbar and alleged rebellion by Prince Mu Azam. Both father and son remained loyal to Emperor Aurangzeb until his death in 1707. After Aurangzeb's death and during the War of Succession, Kamaruddin and his father remained neutral by which they escaped the risk of being on the losing side. They remained marginal players in the Mughal court during the reigns of Bahadur Shah I and Jahandar Shah. Their successor Farukhsiyar (1713–19) appointed Kamaruddin the governor of Deccan in 1713, awarding him the title Nizam ul Mulk. However, the governorship was taken away two years later, and Kamaruddin withdrew to his estate in Muradabad. Under the next emperor, Muhammad Shah (1719–48), Kamaruddin accepted the governorship of Deccan for a second time in 1721. The next year, following the death of his uncle Muhammad Amin Khan who had been a power broker in the Mughal court, Kamaruddin returned to the Delhi and was made the wazir prime minister. According to historian Faraqui, his tenure as prime minister was undermined by his opponents and a rebellion in Deccan was engineered against him. In 1724, the Nizam returned to Deccan to reclaim his base, in the process making a transition to a semi-independent ruler. Reign In 1724, Esif Jha I defeated Mubariz Khan to establish autonomy over the Deccan Suba, named the region Hyderabad Deccan, and started what came to be known as the Esif Jahi dynasty. Subsequent rulers retained the title Nizam ul Mulk and were referred to as Esif Jahi Nizams, or Nizams of Hyderabad. Nizam I never formally declared independence from the Mughals, he still flew the Mughal flag, and was never crowned. In Friday prayers, the sermon would be conducted in the name of Aurangzeb, and this tradition would continue until the end of Hyderabad state in 1948. The death of Asif Jha I in 1748 resulted in a period of political unrest as his sons, backed by opportunistic neighboring states and colonial foreign forces, contended for the throne. The accession of Esif Jah II, who reigned from 1762 to 1803, ended the instability. In 1768 he signed the Treaty of Mashilipatnam, surrendering the coastal region to the East India Company in return for a fixed annual rent. Following the decline of the Mughal power, the region of Deccan saw the rise of the Maratha Empire. The Nizam himself saw many invasions by the Marathas in the 1720s, which resulted in the Nizam paying a regular tax to the Marathas. The major battles fought between the Marathas and the Nizam include Palt, Bhopal, Rakshasbhuvan, and Karta, in all of which the Nizam lost. Following the conquest of Deccan by Bajirao I and the imposition of Chath by him, the Nizam remained a tributary of the Marathas for all intent and purposes. In 1805, after the British victory in the Second Anglo Maratha War, Nizam of Hyderabad came under the protection of the British East India Company. In 1903, the Barar region of the state was separated and merged into the central provinces of British India, to form the central provinces and Barar. The last Nizam of Hyderabad state, Mir Osman Ali Khan, had been the richest man in the world in his time. The Nizams developed the railway, introduced electricity, and developed roads, airways, irrigation and reservoirs. In fact, all major public buildings in Hyderabad city were built during his reign under the British Raj. He pushed education, science, and establishment of Asmania University. In 1947, at the time of the partition of India, Britain offered the 565 princely states in the subcontinent the options of acceding to either India or Pakistan, or remaining independent. <laughs> End of the dynasty and removal of the last Nizam After the independence of India in 1947, the Nizam of Hyderabad initially chose to join neither India nor Pakistan. He later declared Hyderabad an independent state, but the government of India refused to accept this. After attempts by India to persuade the Nizam to accede to India failed, the Indian government finally launched a military operation named Operation Polo to annex Hyderabad. 
When the Indian Army invaded on 13 September 1948, his overwhelmingly untrained forces were unable to withstand the Indian Army and were defeated. The Nizam capitulated on 17 September 1948, that same afternoon he broadcast the news over the state radio network. The Nizam was forced to accept accession to the new Republic of India. His abdication on 17 September 1948 marked the end of the dynasty's ambitions. Mir Osman Ali Khan, the last Nizam, died on Friday 24 February 1967. All the Nizams are buried in royal graves at the Makkah Masjid near Charminar in Hyderabad excepting the last, Mir Osman Ali Khan, who wished to be buried beside his mother, in the graveyard of Judy Mosque facing King Kathi Palace. Culture Infrastructure During the period of the Nizam's rule, Hyderabad state became extremely wealthy. Osman Ali Khan, Asaf Jah VII and his family including Salar Young I were taught by Nawab Sarwar ul Mulk and Aga Mirza Beg Bahadur, who was his political advisor, and the senior most salute state among the Indian princely states. It was spread over 223,000 square kilometers, 86,000 square miles in the Deccan, ruled by the Asaf Jahi dynasty. The Nizams were conferred with the title of His Exalted Highness and faithful ally of the British government by the Imperial Colonial British Government for their collaborating role in the wars against Tipu Sultan of Mysore, the first war of Indian independence of 1857 to 1858, becoming the only Indian prince to be given both these titles. The rule of the Nizams brought cultural and economic growth for Hyderabad city. One example of the wealth of Nizam rule is the Jewels of the Nizams, which is an international tourist attraction occasionally displayed in Salar Young Museum. In 1948 Hyderabad state had an estimated population of 17 million 1 .7 crore, and it generated an estimated annual revenue of £90,029,000. The state had its own currency known as the Hyderabadi rupee, until 1951. The pace at which the last Nizam Mir Osman Ali Khan amassed wealth made him one of the world's richest men in 1937, also known for his miserliness. He was estimated to be worth 660 crore rupees roughly $2 billion by the then exchange rates. According to the Forbes all-time wealthiest list of 2008, Nizam Mir Osman Ali Khan is the fifth richest man in recorded history per the figures, with an estimated worth of $210.8 billion adjusted by Forbes as per the growth of the U.S. GDP since that period and the present exchange rate of the U.S. dollar against the Indian rupee. The Nizams set up numerous institutions in the name of the dynasty including hospitals and schools, colleges, universities that imparted education in Urdu. Inspired by the Indian civil service, the Nizams established their own local Hyderabad civil service. The Nizams commissioned engineering projects such as large reservoirs like Osman Sagar and Hamayat Sagar. Survey work on the Nagarjuna Sagar Dam was also initiated during this time, although the actual work was actually completed under the aegis of the Government of India in 1969. <laughs> Palaces. The Asaf Jahis were prolific builders. Several palaces of the Nizams were Chaumahala Palace, official residence of early Nizams Parani Haveli King Kathi Palace Mabub Mansion Falakanuma Palace Bella Vista Hill Fort Palace Chiran Palace Saifabad Palace Hyderabad House, New Delhi Nizam Palace, Kolkata. Other landmarks include the High Court of Judicature at Hyderabad, City College, Public Gardens, formerly Bog E A A A M, Jubilee Hall, Asafia Library, the Assembly Building, Nalufar Hospital, the Asmania Arts College, and the Asmania Medical College. The Nizams liked the European style of architecture and created a fusion of European traditions with Hindu and Islamic forms and motifs. List of Nizams of Hyderabad
Topic: <laughs> Descendants of the last Nizam. The last Nizam, Mir Osman Ali Khan, Asaf Jah VII, had 28 sons and 44 daughters. The Asaf Jah dynasty followed the order of precedence of male primogeniture regardless of the mother's marital status or rank. Among his children were Azam Jah, Prince of Berar, the 21st of February 1907 to the 9th of October 1970, the eldest son. Topic Family tree The Nizam's daughters had been married traditionally to young men of the Paiga family. This family belonged to the Sunni sect, and from the second Nizam's time they had been personal bodyguards of the Nizam. Italics, considered pretenders by most historians, refrained from exercising traditional authority during their reigns. Places and things named after the Nizams Places and things named after the Nizam include Nizamabad, a city and district in the state of Telangana, Jamia Nizamia, a university, the Nizam College, the Nizams Museum, the Nizams Guaranteed State Railway, the Nizams Institute of Medical Sciences, the Jewels of the Nizams, the Nizam Diamond, the Nizam Sagar, HMAS Nizam, Nizamia Observatory, the Nizam Club, the Nizam of Hyderabad Necklace, the Nizams Contingent, the Nizam Gate, the Nizam Palace, Government Nizamia General Hospital, and H. E. H. The Nizam's Charitable Trust. Topic. See also. Asaf Jahi Dynasty. Osmanistan. Hyderabadi Muslims. History of Telangana. Carnatic Wars. History of Hyderabad, India. Salar Young Family. List of Sunni Muslim dynasties <laughs>